I couldn't tell you how many restaurants we've discovered across the state of Tennessee doing this show. Lost count many years ago. However, they all seem to have one thing in common. They require lots of hard work to succeed. Recently, Ken Wilshire ventured over to a hometown dining favorite in Humboldt, where the recipe for success is, well, three things, hard work, a little Greek flavor, and a big serving of family pride. Today on the outside, this new building has a stylish modern architectural look. Inside, you'll find a New York City flair and decor. It's owned by a Greek-American family, and it's located on what probably used to be a cotton field in Humboldt. It's called the Wall Street Grill, and it had a far more modest beginning in this tiny shop not far from its new location. Our other restaurant was really um, difficult to work in. It was very small. Um, if you could see the kitchen, it wasn't designed to be a restaurant in the first place. Um, so over the years, we, we would write down things that were hard for us there, and we tried to incorporate that in this restaurant. It's the creation of Georgios and Paula Peftalides. One more ribeye coming. They were driven by a dream, desire, very few dollars, and a determination to make it work. And it has. But the old restaurant is also where Paula was working as a waitress when it went up for sale. She and Georgios, who was a chef at a restaurant across town, took the risk, made the investment, and have never looked back. One day she told me the restaurant is for sale. It was not doing very well, you know, it was like uh, some owners, they never work there, just expect uh, for the employees to do the business. And it's not gonna happen in this business. So we went over there with no money, seriously, no money, nothing. We just went over there and just give them Took an offer. Took it like on a temporary basis. And six months later, we give them an offer. We wanna pay you that amount of money a month. And we took over just like that. I mean, we working at that point. We did not have kids. Well, no, I mean, we, not have we worked kids. probably four years, open to close, no vacation, no break, no day off. It wasn't a big deal to us then because we didn't have anything else to do. So we just put our hearts and souls into it. And it was not easy. It was very hard. Their story is far more compelling than one about a wonderfully enjoyable place to eat. And unlike its namesake. The Wall Street Grill portfolio isn't filled with stocks and bonds in hopes of financial gains. Instead, there's a cookbook for success. And if you're writing down this recipe, start with a huge scoop of family. From Paula and Georgios to their sons, Alex and Blake, they set the example for their employee family to follow every day. Anything we do, we take it with pride. Because you know what happened, this is in general in life, you have to to improve every day. The day you will say, okay, that's it, we make it and that's it, you start going down. You have to every right. single day. You have to be here, to you have to every put 110% in the day. Even if you are vacationing in your house and your kids game. In a, You're always here. In You're always. never, never gone. For flavor, add a huge dash of Greek culture. I mean, preparing food and dining in Greece is far more meaningful than the food itself. And as far as quality and quantity, these top the list of essential ingredients for every dish they serve. Actually, in Greek mythology, there are even gods and goddesses to watch over food and cooking. Grow up in Greece, I grew up with a good organic homemade food. My mom was a great cook. I mean, she takes she, a lot she, of pride in the food, food here. So food, it's, it's a culture. It's not only put something in your stomach, you know, fill you up. It's, it's something more than that. It's, it's, how can I explain it? It's, it's good. It's, it's something you have to, you have the luxury to eat something different every day. That's why we have such a big menu. Now in the menu, blend in a bountiful selection of traditional American cuisine and comfort foods. Then season with a down-home, entrepreneurial spirit right from the heart of West Tennessee. You cannot get our hamburger anywhere, any restaurant of this size. Um, you can't get the homemade soups. They come, most restaurants have the frozen bag soups. They may taste good, but they're full of sodium and they are not homemade. Um, homemade dressings, we have a lot of unique desserts. By the way, Paula has a nursing degree, so she substituted her comforting bedside manner with a welcoming tableside manner. And when it's time to serve it all up, she makes sure it's garnished with appreciation so you'll savor an unforgettably pleasing experience. Have a good night. <laughs> Actually, nursing's a lot like this. Um, when you're a nurse, you have a certain amount of patience, and when you're a waitress, 
or own a restaurant, you have a certain amount of customers, so you have to take care of them, you know, like that. They don't expect this kind of restaurant, built-in wise, and this kind of service and food in this town. It's a beautiful, nice town. But they don't expect something like that. We have people from California traveling around or whatever, you know, New York or... Yeah, a lot of comments from... And they just say, wow, how? How? They don't expect to see this kind of restaurant in this town. And they appreciate it. They, the price-wise, we have very, very reasonable price. And good portion. So don't panic if you can't finish it all. In fact, if you want to bring the Wall Street Grill home, you can even stop in the takeout area and mini bakery for your own dinner table. And unlike Wall Street, there's no speculation on the returns for your investment at the Wall Street Grill, just the security of knowing they'll be pleasing to the palate as well as the pocketbook. In fact, the only thing volatile about this business venture may be the peanut butter explosion on the dessert tray. You can always bank on it when dining with the Peftalides family.